Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Java Framework tutorial, we are going to understand how we can extend the framework that we are developing and use the example of this particular test case, the basic test case or raw test case that we have created without any framework approach and try to understand the pain points in this particular test case and then build the framework which can be helpful or which you can easily understand right so when you understand the pain points of a particular test case without the framework approach and we convert it into the framework approach you will see the benefits right so say for example here so we'll start with the first line itself so first two lines are basically the instantiation of the chrome driver which is basically saying instantiate the chrome driver and launch the browser chrome browser for us okay now tomorrow if i want to launch the test case in the firefox browser or the edge browser these two top lines that i have highlighted i have to redo them for the firefox browser for the edge browser or any other browser now this is not a good approach similarly launching this driver.get which is basically the application under test url that launch is also a prerequisite for any particular test case so these three details or these three top lines can be moved into some other class which i have already discussed like these can be moved into the base class and then this url we can move into the properties file right and read this url directly from the properties file so tomorrow if this url is say for example qa.zoho.com where you want to test your functionality or if it is a environment which is uat.zoho.com so in a particular project you might be required to test in a multiple environment so in that particular case you just have to pass the different value in the properties file the application under test url and then those values can be automatically populated into your test case now let's see how we can basically first thing how we can move these two properties file right so i have already created a video of reading the values from the properties file but i'll quickly cover the details as well so in the resources we'll be storing the properties file right so in the properties file say for example i want to execute the test case in the chrome browser i'll say browser is equal to chrome so let me create a property file so i'll say config file right click new and then go to the file and here we'll say config dot properties you have to make sure that you append the properties file as properties okay and the properties file will get created now here in the properties file you can store the values as key value pair okay so browser is chrome right and then test url is the url on which you want to test right so in the test case the url is this particular zoho url okay so we'll simply copy the url okay and this is how we'll be storing the values now because the browser value or the browser where we want to execute our test case and the url stored in the properties now these values can be can be removed or they won't be hard coded into the test case so tomorrow if i want to execute the test case in the qa then i simply have to come here and change the url to qa and if i have to execute the test cases in the firefox i can execute i'll just change the value of the browser to firefox and run the test cases and firefox browser will be launched and the test cases will be executed on the firefox browser for now let me change it to as is and save this properties file the next important thing is how do you read the values from these properties file right so there needs to be some logic there so let's understand quickly how we are going to first read the properties and once we understand how to read the properties then you can understand the implementation so we'll continue with the implementation so to i'll simply temporarily i'll create a new class okay so i'll simply go to the utilities and i'll say read property file okay all right so read property file and let me include the main method and click on finish okay so i have already created a video on this in detail but um you, you can go ahead i'll post the link if you want to understand all the details about the property file but briefly to read any value from the property file there is a file input stream or file reader class for which we can create an object and then we can read the values of the properties file so there is a class which is says file reader right and we can say file reader and then create an object of that class so we'll say new file reader 
and then pass the location of the file right so let me first get the location of this file so this file to get the location simply right click go to properties and copy this particular location okay so this is where this particular file is stored and if i have to read the properties or read the values of this file we'll simply paste the location of that particular file okay now you will see this red color here we have to import this file reader class from java.io and once you will import you will see that it will give you an option to either you can add throws declaration or surround with try catch so i'll simply add throws declaration that if file is not found then it will throw an exception file not found exception okay next thing is once we create an object of file reader class we need to have the object of the properties class as well right so properties and we'll say new properties okay so this is the next step that you have to follow import the properties from java.util okay and the next step is we simply need to load so we'll, we'll just say p dot load okay because we have created an object of the properties class now we can load the file reader right so we'll simply say p dot load so here you'll see either i can have the input stream so we you can use file input stream or you can use the reader right so we have used the reader so we'll say p dot load and reader is fr right so this is the reference or fr is the reference file reader you can name it any you, you can simply say file reader or f reader whatever name you you want to specify so then it will load that particular file i'll simply add the throws declaration and you will see that error has been gone okay now these are the only three steps required to configure the reading of the file now to get the value of this particular file so because this is key value pair so say for example i want to get the value of the browser then i will simply say I will say let me print out system.out.println and I will simply say p dot get property right and you will see that if I will provide the key of the property file right so here you will see config dot properties so key and value right so if I will provide the key browser okay right so the key is browser so here yeah it is browser ah sorry p dot get property and the key is should be the string right so it's a string and it should basically print me the value of that particular key so what is the value the value is chrome and that value should get printed if i want to print the url then i'll simply say p dot get property and i'll say test url right so let me run this and see that the values are getting printed on the console you'll see the value chrome and the url has been printed right so this is the basic logic for reading the values out of the properties file okay now this is the logic that we'll be utilizing to implement the implementation so what we'll do is we'll implement the setup of the chrome driver or firefox driver based on the property browser that is being passed so if chrome is passed then the instantiation of the chrome driver should be done if firefox is passed in the properties file then the instantiation of the firefox browser should be done okay similarly if the environment url is qa then the qa browser should be launched qa environment should be launched if the uat is launched then uat if uat is passed then uat environment should be launched and test case should be run on the uat test environment right so that's what we'll be implementing and we'll be using this read property file logic that we have just learned into extending our framework and refining it we'll move these values into the base class as discussed the instantiation and then we have already moved this value into the properties file okay so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching